Hey everybody, this video once again brings us back out to Disney Springs. Apparently I just live out here. Now, I have, I have never been to Disney Springs this continuously before in my life. I, I, I realize I wasn't living down here before, so maybe that's why, but I don't know. I, I, I could be going to the, uh, the other parks. I could be going to, uh, to Animal Kingdom, to, to Magic Kingdom, to Hollywood Studios, to Epcot. I could be going to any of those parks, but I just keep coming back to Disney's shopping park. I don't know why, but anyway, the reason why we are here, well, I do know why today. The reason why we are here today is because a couple of days ago when I was out here, there was a, a place I really wanted to eat. And sadly, for whatever reason, they were closed. They actually did not give us a reason as to why they were closed, but they were. So we, we did not get to eat there. And I've been craving, craving this restaurant for the past couple of months. So I really wanted to come back and get something to eat at this restaurant and on top of that today is the perfect day to do that because today is a very special holiday today is national slash international hamburger day so whether you're here in the united states or overseas it's a day where everybody even you should be eating yourselves a delicious hamburger and i for one <laughs> i for one am a huge huge fan of hamburgers so i wanted to come out here celebrate national slash international hamburger day and go eat some deluxe burger but in doing that there's also something really interesting we can talk about because disney springs has a whole backstory a lot of people do not realize that when disney builds something like like disney springs there's there's a backstory behind it and i don't just mean why they built it but why, why it's called Disney Springs. A lot of people just go, oh, we're, we're going to, to Disney Springs. We're going we're gonna to eat some food. We're going to do some shopping. But they don't actually think, wait, why, why is it even called Disney Springs? Well, the reason is, is because there's a whole backstory behind this shopping district. There's a whole, a whole, a whole made up history as to why that this shopping district is called Disney Springs. And what's really cool about it is the fact that all of it every bit of the history the made-up story of disney springs evolves around deluxe burger which is really really cool to think that the name of this entire this entire shopping district disney's entire shopping theme park is based around a hamburger joint so the story behind disney springs goes that back in the late 1800s a man named martin sinclair from south carolina would actually travel down here to Florida to, to explore, to explore the wilds of this kind of unpopulated state. He would come down here, he would enjoy nature and enjoy, again, exploring the wilds of Florida. And one night after a very hard rain, he decided to camp near some springs he found. He camped underneath an oak tree here by, by the springs that we are, we are at right now. And in doing that, he decided this place was somewhere he was really, really into. And he thought to himself, this is probably where I should live the rest of my life. And after seeing the glow of his campfire glistening off the leaves with all the, the raindrops underneath the oak tree, he did decide, this is where my wife Clara and I have to spend the rest of our lives at these beautiful springs I have found here in Florida. So they packed their things up, moved from South Carolina down to down to the springs and decided to set up a ranch right underneath the oak tree, the oak tree where he first camped and decided after seeing the again the glow of his campfire glistening off the leaves with rain droplets all on it, he decided again to set up camp here, to move down here, and that oak tree is actually right over here, which is really really awesome. So pretty cool to think this man who just loved, loved exploring, loved coming down to Florida to explore the state, to think that he just happened to stumble upon these springs, thought they were beautiful, that it was raining, very hard rain as it, as it, as it happens to, uh, to happen quite often down here in Florida. After a very hard rain, decided I'm gonna camp here underneath an oak tree. I'm gonna build myself a fire. It was at that moment he went, you know what? This is it. This is where my wife and I need to spend 
the rest of our lives. So like I said, that oak tree that Martin Sinclair camped underneath is actually right over here, which is really, really cool. Again, you guys know how much I love trees and the history of trees. So the fact that this oak tree is here, again, all based around a fictional story, but the fact that the oak tree is right here is so awesome. And you might be noticing something kind of familiar about this oak tree. If you guys saw my video where we went to Magic Kingdom and took a look at the Liberty Tree there, I don't know, I'm, I'm curious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 lamps in this tree, meaning that this here is yet another Disney Liberty Tree. How cool is that? So again, not only a tree that basically made Disney Springs. You could say that the whole, the whole history, the whole reason why this is called at Disney Springs is because more or less of this tree here and the fact that Martin Sinclair supposedly camped underneath this tree, found the springs, thought they were beautiful, saw this tree, thought I've got to get out of the rain, i got to set up camp, I'm going to set it up underneath this tree. And then after he saw his campfire glowing throughout the leaves, the leaves full of raindrops, he decided this is where he wants to spend the rest of his life and built a ranch, Glowing Oak Ranch. And this right here was their ranch house. This is where the Sinclairs actually lived. This was the house they built and the house they resided in when they set up a ranch here at Glowing Oak Ranch here at the Springs. And they set up the town of Springs. But it's really cool that they turned the tree into a Liberty tree as well. That is awesome. Again, this is actually a fictional story, not a true story, but it's just so cool that the, the, whole, the whole reason for the naming of what used to be Downtown Disney, if you guys do not know, this has been here for a good long while, it used to be called Downtown Disney. Then they, they rethemed the whole area and they changed the name of it to Disney Springs. But it's really cool to think that the reason why they changed it to Disney Springs is because the Imagineers, Disney's Imagineers came up with this whole big elaborate story of a man who used to explore Florida, him and his wife moving down here all because of this oak tree and how beautiful it was down here and then setting up a ranch right here. And this, what is now Deluxe Burger, this was their, their ranch house. So as the story continues, since this was the, the ranch house, this is where the, the ranch hands and everybody like that used to, to eat. They would serve food out of the ranch house. And over time, they kind of became known for their delicious foods. So the Sinclairs decided to open up their, their ranch house, not only to just the, the ranch hands, but to, to townsfolk and travelers and visitors and everybody who just happened to come by, they could come out here and they could get themselves a, uh, a little bit to, to eat since they had become known for how delicious their food was. But all of that was about to change in 1904. They went from a ranch house where they were, were living and serving food out of, basically, again, more or less just a ranch house, but also due to the fact that they had become pretty well known for their food, also sort of a restaurant, if you will, as well, kind of a makeshift restaurant. restaurant. But again, in 1904, like I said, things, Things changed, a, um, an invention was created and they wanted to take part in this, uh, this, new, this new invention, this new, this new fad. So in 1904, Martin decided to travel to the World's Fair being held in St. Louis. And the reason why he wanted to go was to see all the new ideas and technology and inventions that were being created and to see if any of these new inventions and ideas and whatnot could possibly help with his ranch, help with his restaurant, but while he was there, he came across the greatest invention he could probably ever come across. He tried the first ever hamburger. Yes, the hamburger was supposed, supposedly created in 1904 at the St. Louis World's Fair. And Martin Sinclair tried this new concoction and immediately fell in love with it and thought to himself, I could recreate this. I could figure out what exactly goes into making the perfect hamburger. I could, I could recreate this. I could serve this new concoction, this new, 
this new hamburger, this new sandwich. I could serve this at my restaurant. I'm sure it'll be a big hit. It's a big hit at the, at the World's Fair. It'll probably be a big hit at my restaurant. So we came back home and by 1905, he had figured out the, the ingredients. He had figured out how to make the perfect hamburger and started serving it at his, at his restaurant, at the Glowing Oak Ranch. He had his hamburger and it was, it was a success. 1905, they did have their first ever hamburger day. The town of Springs loved it. It was a, it was a hit. And by 1921, over like the, the next like decade or so, by 1921, they were done with the, the cattle business. Glowing Oak Ranch turned into Glowing Oak Restaurant. They decided since the restaurant was booming and was doing so well, serving hamburgers, why even bother with cattle anymore? They would just put all their focus into their restaurants. Possibly the first ever hamburger joint. Pretty awesome, again, fictional story, but really cool story of, again, this man who just came to, came to Florida to explore, decided, I wanna live here, went to St. Louis just to see if maybe he could help expand his business, found a hamburger, tried it, fell in love with the sandwich and said, this is it. And basically based his life around the sandwich. Even though it is a fictional story, I, I just, I love stories like this. There are so many stories out there. People just sort of, their lives just kind of are based off of just whims and just things that just sort of happen to them. You know, you just happen to be coming down here to Florida. I just happened to find the, the, the spring. Just, there just happened to be a rainstorm. Then you just happened to camp underneath this tree. Just happened to see the, the fire glistening in the leaves. And then, so this is where I want to live. They then built a, a ranch. He then went to, to St. Louis and just happened to pawn the hamburger. All these, all these just happenings, these ha hap happenstances. Is that, what, is that what we're looking for? All these just things that happened to this great man and his life ended up completely changing because of all these these happenings, all these things that just happen to this one, one man. I hear stories about this all the time of famous people where things like this happen. Again, it is a fictional story, but it's a really cool fictional story. So again, by 1921, this was no longer a ranch. This was a, was a restaurant, no longer Glowing Oak Ranch. It was now Glowing Oak Restaurants, possibly the first ever hamburger joint. So there you go. There's the fictional story of how one man, one hamburger joint, not only named and basically created Disney Springs, but really, when you think about it, created all of Walt Disney World just in general. Because if not for, if not for the restaurant, if not for the first hamburger joint, if not for Disney in the 1950s buying the town of Springs and buying all the, the land around it and, and building theme parks and whatnot, we wouldn't have Walt Disney World. So if not for the popularity of, of the restaurant and the popularity of the town, we wouldn't have the, the Disney we have today. Again, of course, it's all a fictional story, but it's a really cool, interesting, and amazing story. But the story's not quite over yet because Deluxe Burger actually opened up on May 15th, 2016. That was the actual opening day of, of Deluxe Burger, the, the real true story opening day of, of Deluxe Burger. But the story goes that Martin Sinclair IV, the, the great, great whatever of, of the original Martin Sinclair who camped right here underneath this, this Liberty tree, this oak tree right here, he decided to keep, keep up with the, the current trends and whatnot and uh, keep up with the, uh, the popularity of the restaurant and decided to rebrand and rename his restaurant Deluxe Burger. So if you're thinking to yourself, why is it not called the uh, the Glowing Oak Restaurant anymore? It's because Martin Sinclair IV, he changed the name to keep up with modern times and changed the name to Deluxe Burger. Again, the actual true story is, is that this is a Disney-owned restaurant here at Disney Springs, and it did open on May 15th, 2016. But all right, anyway, there's the cool, interesting, very unique history. It's just... Again, it blows my mind, like what the Disney Imagineers come up with. Like, this is why I always say the Disney Imagineers should really be able to one, run more wild. I feel like they've been kind of um, roped in over the last like decade or, or more at this point, but this is the kind of thing they come up with. They, they build a whole new, I mean, again, this, 
this was already here. It was downtown Disney, but they they rethemed and re kind of built this whole this whole shopping district. This whole again Disney's basically shopping theme park, if you will. They they completely rebranded it, rebuilt it. They they based it around the spring the springs. The whole thing has been just completely redone. If you were here back when it was downtown Disney, if you come here now and you haven't been since. You're not going to recognize the place. It's completely different. Again, all new, beautiful theming. Theming, but really cool to think that the Imagineers came up with the idea of let's let's make this crazy backstory and base it all around a man who opened up the first ever hamburger joint. And let's go further than that, and let's basically make it so that the entire reason that Walt Disney World is Walt Disney World is here in the first place is because of the hamburger joint. So just, again, just remember that when you're walking through the Disney parks and you think to yourself, ah, that, that great saying, it all started with a mouse. That, that great saying of Walt Disney. No, no, it all started because of a hamburger. Okay, anyway, enough of that. There's the story, pretty awesome. We're actually going to go into Deluxe Burger now and get a burger because again, today is National slash International Hamburger Day. I've been craving a burger from here for the last couple of months and we are going to to get one today but what's really cool is look at all the different decor all the ranch decor look at that glowing oak ranch all these different letters and whatnot there's a glowing oak ranch beef and cattle cards how cool is that glowing oak ranch february 26 1905 from 12 to 5 p.m for the first ever burger day it's no it's no minced steak it's hamburgers hit of the world's fair look at that that is so cool here's a a map of all the different all the different ranches there's glowing oak ranch right there right where we are right now again the, the history the the theming people i mean all day long thousands of people come in here and they walk right past this and they do not know what they're looking at. They just go, oh, okay, it's, it's just it's just a core, nothing, nothing all that interesting. But if you know the actual backstory you get behind this restaurant, all this decor becomes so much cooler. Again, I know things I'm like weirdly getting excited over, but over here by the uh, the condiment stations is this grandma's sauce. You'll never believe what I found cleaning out the back closet. I thought we lost Grandma Clara's sauce recipe years ago. So this is for their special sauce they have here at the restaurant. How cool is that? Again, weird, weird little just pieces of decor that aren't just pieces of decor. I, no, nobody looks at this. Everybody just comes over here and gets their, gets their condiments, goes and sits down. They probably don't even read that. And if anybody does read this, they don't realize that the, the significance of this, the, the theming of that. Again, I just, I love the, I love Disney theming. They always go that like that extra mile and just put these little, little things in that like nine times out of 10, nobody's even looking at or nobody even understands. But if you do understand, if you do know what you're looking at, it's, it, it's just so cool. All right, so even though it is about 5,000 degrees out right now with like 100% humidity, if you can't tell by the frizziness of my, my hair, I decided it would only be appropriate to sit by the springs of Disney Springs to enjoy my hamburger. And yes, I know, I, it's a tiny little burger. I just went with the kids meal. You get a, um, a little burger that's um, a little bit bigger than a slider and, um, and some fries and a drink as well. Got myself some unsweetened iced tea. I've been, I've been good. I haven't drank soda in like two months now. I've been doing really well with the, um, the no soda kick I've been on, but I know again, it's a tiny little baby burger. Why not get like a full sized burger? I never finished them. They're always like, they're pretty big. The burgers here are very, very big. So I never really finished them. And also I, I, I'm at Disney Springs. I want to leave room for maybe some ice cream. I'm probably going to be getting ice cream before I, uh, before I leave. But this burger is is amazing and yes i know again no cheese no toppings no nothing i like my burgers plain jane what can i say and, mm, oh, oh. and it's such a good burger i've been i've been craving that so right there you go a 1904 world's fair hamburger this slider that is so good i 
I love eating here again. I've been craving this for months now. It's been months since I've had deluxe burger. And I'm, I'm loving it again, right here by the springs. That's a good burger. But as amazing as this hamburger is, what I really, really love here are their French fries. Now, I'm not a big fan of um, vinegar fries. I, I grew up on the, the East Coast. I grew up uh, going to the Jersey uh, shores and the, um, the Delaware beaches. So putting vinegar on your French fries is a very popular thing to do. I never liked it. I never enjoyed vinegar on my French fries, but these French fries are amazing. I don't know what they do. I gotta ask the chef. I don't know if they cook their, their French fries like in some kind of vinegar or whatnot, but they have a slight vinegar taste to them, which actually really works. Again, as somebody, um, as somebody who doesn't like vinegar on their fries, these are amazing. It's not overpowering. I like the slight hint of vinegar and it makes these french fries some of the best french fries I've ever had in my entire life. So if you do come to uh, Deluxe Burger, yes, get get a hamburger. Maybe go maybe go a bit more wild than I go. Don't don't necessarily get a um, a little kids burger with nothing on it. Go get your fancy burger with with their special sauce and uh, cheese and lettuce and tomato and all that all that stuff. Get whatever burger you want, but also get the fries. I highly highly recommend the the french fries. Even if you're not a fan of vinegar, Get the fries. All right, so now that my belly is nice and full of my tiny little baby hamburger, I know, I'm gonna get all kinds of comments about that. I wanna show you guys something really, really cool. So if you come into the back of the restaurant, there is some really neat history back here. They actually have a painting, a, an old painting of what the ranch looked like back when it was just Glowing Oak Ranch. That's the old ranch house there before they expanded the back to make it into the restaurant. Look at the old sign there that's right there, Glowing Oak Ranch, established 1850. Again, so many cool little details. There's a poster here, Springs Grand Centennial Expo, 1950. That's the year Disney would have bought out Springs. That is so cool. There's even the, there's even the Cirque du Soleil Stadium or Circus Tent thing right there. That's, I mean, that's here at Springs, right, right over there. It's so cool, little touches, little details like that and this one here is really really cool glowing oak ranch is now glowing oak restaurant july 24th 1921 grand opening there's a seat for everyone at our table the hamburger taste is that martin and clara sinclair right there maybe possibly i don't know but look at that they they recreated like the whole front. I mean, that bell is there out front. I'll show you guys, that bell is there. That is so cool. They recreated this whole thing, put people standing there. I mean, it's a whole faux fake photo of, of the old ranch house that just became the, the restaurant. That is so neat. All kinds of other interesting old photos all throughout here. Again, so many little details like the painting of the old ranch house. Again, with the old sign right there, that's right that's right behind us and the really cool faux posters. That is neat. Again, those little touches. I love the ranch house there with all the people standing in front of it. And I love the, the expo, which again, explains why that big tent for the Cirque du Soleil is, that explains why that big tent is here at Springs. It's been here since 1950, apparently. And this place is so cool. So many little amazing details. Everybody walks past them. I get into you. Nobody thinks Golden Oak Ranch. What? What is that? Just, just decor. There's a, there's a story, and it's, it's an amazing story. All right, guys. So I think that's just about gonna do it for the story, the history of Deluxe Burger, aka the Glowing Oak Ranch, aka the Glowing Oak Restaurant, and how it essentially created and named Disney Springs. And if you really want to go down the rabbit hole, how it created all of Walt Disney World. Again, it's just a fake faux story, but such an amazing story concocted by the Disney Imagineers. And look at that. There is the front of the old ranch house. And there is that bell I told you about right there. There's the bell. Look at that. How cool is that? Little tiny details. What a fantastic way to spend national slash international hamburger day here at the, the supposed first ever hamburger joint and what created 
and what named Disney Springs and why Walt Disney World is here today. Again, I want to stress, it's a fake story. It's not a real story, but it's a really cool fake faux story created by the Disney Imagineers. So now when you come to Disney Springs and you walk past the Deluxe Burger, you can say to yourself or say to whoever you're with, did you, did you know that Disney Springs is Disney Springs? That this is here? That all of Walt Disney World is here? Because of this hamburger joint right, right there. That is awesome. But all right, guys, I think with that, I'm gonna let you guys go. Hopefully you now know that really cool, interesting story. If you did not already know that really cool, interesting story, story. I'm gonna go find myself some dessert now. So, all right, guys, again, with that, I'm gonna let you guys go. My hair, though, is going crazy. Again, it's getting all poofy and whatnot from the, from the humidity, but all right. So, as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also, check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, and also, hit that join button and become a member of this channel and get early access to all my videos. And if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag, it all started with a hamburger. It all started with a hamburger. Hashtag that if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end. What a crazy, cool, awesome, interesting, faux, but really cool story. All right, guys, like I said, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next video. And hopefully today you guys had yourself a delicious hamburger, cheeseburger, whatever you want, whatever, get whatever, as long as it's a hamburger, as long as there is a, a meat patty, a hamburger meat patty between two buns. Hope you guys had a great time celebrating national slash international hamburger day. And if you celebrated it here at Springs, well, however you celebrated it, leave a comment down below. I wanna hear from you guys. But if you did celebrate it at the first <laughs> hamburger joint here at Disney Springs, leave your comments down below. I want to hear from you guys. All right, one last shot of the Springs. Beautiful, amazing. Actually, you know what? One, one last shot of the, um, the oak tree, the Liberty Tree here in the town of Springs, Florida, where Disney bought them out in 1950. And it became, became Disney springs it's just it's so cool little tiny touches little tiny pieces of of faux history but look at this there it is the tree martin sinclair camped underneath saw the the glow of his, his campfire glistening off the leaves full of raindrops and said this is where i want to spend the rest of my life and all because of that We've got all the Walt Disney World. <laughs> all right, again, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, lesson learned. Never come to Springs on a weekend. Always come on a Tuesday, I guess. Not only did I get my deluxe burger, which was closed this weekend, Danielle is also getting her Indian food. I'm bringing this home to her. She did not get it over the weekend. And I just got my tickets to the Aquabatch show, which were way cheaper here out of the box office than they are buying online so everything mostly everything i came for this weekend that i did not get i got today also it's it's raining slightly there's a breeze blowing it feels amazing unfortunately i did not get danielle's donald ears or infinity gauntlet ears they're still not in stock but i mean three out of five not bad 